Hello all, welcome to NetSet OS. Today in this video we will discuss about ugly number problem. But before starting the video, I will request you if you like my video, do subscribe my channel. And for understanding full concept of this ugly number problem, do watch it till the end of the video. So let's start ugly number problem. So what are ugly numbers? Ugly numbers are positive numbers whose prime factors only include 2, 3 and 5. So I can say any ugly number can have 2, 3 and 5 or the numbers multiple of it. Right? So if I take first 10 ugly numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 12 so these are the first 10 ugly numbers and if we have to verify are they ugly numbers or not one is an exception which is a typical ugly number why i said this as an exception because it is neither the multiple of 2, 3 nor 5. Now if I have to verify whether 12 is an ugly number or not, I will take out its factors. It will be 2 into 3, 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 1. So 12 is a multiple of 2 and 3. Or I can say 2 and 3 are the factors of 12. Now if I want to see whether 14 is an ugly number or not. Let's take out its prime factor 2 and 7. Here if I see 2 is a ugly number but 7 is not a multiple of either 2, 3 or 5. So we can say 14 is not a ugly number. So basically in ugly number we are getting two types of questions. First, check if number is ugly or not. Second, find nth ugly number. So to check whether number is ugly or not, which is also a question of lead code number 263. Let's see how we can take out. As I told you the definition of ugly number is the number which has prime factor 2, 3 and 5 or the multiple of these numbers. So let's take these numbers as factor. And here we need to keep two things in mind. First one is typically treated as ugly number. And the second thing input should be within 32 bits signed integer range. So it should lie within 2 to the power 32 minus 1. Hence, whenever we get a value, let's say 14, we will take the factors which are 2, 3 and 5. And the number is 14. Here we will keep dividing it with the factors. If we get remainder 0, return true or else return false. Let's say we have the number 14. So first we will divide the number with 2. So 14 mod 2 is 0. Yes. Then so as we divide the number with 2 we got 7. Next we will take 3. Is 7 divisible by 3? No. Then we will check whether 7 is divisible by 5. No. Hence, 14 is not a ugly number. Let's check whether 15 is an ugly number or not. Here, this is a brute force solution where I have number 15. First, I will take the factor 2 and will make 15 mod 2. Is 15 divisible by 2? No. So here, we will take the other factor 3 is 15 divisible by 3 
Yes, here we got 0. So, after dividing 15 by 3, we got 5. Now, we will check the next factor whether 5 is divisible by 5. Yes, it is divisible by 5. So, here after dividing 5 by 5, we got 1. So, with this we can say 15 is completely divisible by these factors. So, 15 has the prime factor of 2, 3, 5. Hence, 15 is a ugly number. That's what our definition is. So, when we make the program by brute force, first we need to take factors, 3 factors, 2, 3 and 5 and then we will make a loop for f in factor because we need to iterate it one by one. Let's say here we had num is equal to 15. Then we will keep iterating for num if num is divisible by f which are these factors we will get into it and we will get the value divided by f. And here at last we will check if num is equal to 1, return true, else return false. And here we will have the base condition if num is equal to 0, it will return false. If we come to its time complexity, time complexity will be order of n square and the space complexity will be order of 1. This is just brute force for finding out whether the number is ugly or not. Now if I get the question, find nth ugly number. This question I will solve it by two methods. Method 1 will be the naive solution for each prime factor. First of all, I will get n top ugly number for each prime factor. As here, I want to find out nth ugly number, let's say I want fourth ugly number. So here I will need all the four top ugly number for each prime factor. So prime factors are 2, 3 and 5. So for each prime factor I will get top ugly numbers. So for 2 it is 2, 4, 6, 8. For 3, 3, 6, 9, 12. For 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. Second, merge them in a single list. Whatever the values I have here, the ugly numbers, I will merge them in a single list, which are 2, 4, 6, 8, 3, 6, 9, 12. There are 4 top ugly numbers for each prime factor. So 4 number of 2, 4 ugly number of 3 and 4 ugly number of 5. As like this and the third operation will be I need to sort them and here whatever the nth ugly number will be there I need to find out in this final list one so here I needed fourth ugly number here I will get the fourth ugly number five this is one way of finding nth ugly number it has time complexity here we are sorting it, order of n log n and we are going to each number to the list. So greater than order of n log n. And coming to space complexity, we took a space of list. So it will be order of n. Now we will see how we can decrease this time complexity. So for this, we will use dynamic programming approach. First of all, I'll take the final result in a list and in this list, I will have 1 by default because 1 is typically a ugly number. And then I will take three variables i2, i3 and i5 which will be having 0th index. These are the index over here. With this I will also have three variables next to 
next three and next five so this is our final result value i'll write over here where i have one appended over here now i will delete the above one so here i can say one is on zeroth index and here next two will be having multiple of two next three will be having multiple of three and next five will be multiple of five and this will be result of i2 which is on zeroth index this will have result of i3 index and result of i4 index and all i2 i3 i5 this will be i5 are initially at zeroth index and here we will kept a variable next which will have minimum of all these three so initially i2 is at zeroth index so result of zero is one so two into one will be two then result of i3 zeroth index will be one so three into one will be three five into one five as all i2 i3 i5 is at zeroth index so here we will calculate the value of next among these three whichever is the minimum will get into next so in next we will get the minimum value 2 this two value we will append in result so here we got one index and whichever value will be here the index will be incremented by one so here i got one here there is a change in i2 index i got i2 as one on one index we have two so result i2 will be two two into two will be four now we will check whichever value will be minimum among four three five will be in the next variable and this next will be appended to this as we took the value from i3 this i3 will be incremented by one now i3 is on one index and on one there is a value two so here i will get three into two will be six now let's say in our question we have to take out ninth ugly number so for the next we will see whichever minimum value will be there among 4 5 6 it's 4 so here i will get 4 and as we took the value from next to i2 will be incremented by 1 so that we got 2 index now on 2 index we have 3 so 2 into 3 will be 6 now we got 2 6 and 5 now we will check next among 665 5 is the minimum number and we took the value from i5 so that i5 incremented by 1 so here we got 1 so for the 1 index the value is 2 so 5 into 2 will be 10 this time now when we need to calculate the minimum between 6 and 10 where we have two sixes over here so what i'll do i'll take 6 because anyhow 6 is the minimum value here as 2 and 3 both are the factors of 6 so i will increment both by 1 so for i2 it's third index which has the value 4 2 into 4 will be 8 and for i3 it's second index which is 3 so 3 into 3 will be 9 now among 8, 9, 10, 8 is the minimum value. I will copy here and will make change in the i2 as i2 will be incremented by 1. Now we will check on 4th index we have 5. So 2 into 5 will be 10. Then among 10 and 9 here we have 2 tens but minimum value is 9. So I will write over here and will increment i3 by 1. So here I got third index. So for third index, we have value 4. 4 3 is a 12. Now this time we got 
210 which is the minimum value i will write over here 10 and will make changes to i2 i will increment for i2 index and i5 index because 10 has prime factor 2 and 5 now fifth index is 6 so 2 into 6 will be 12 and here i5 is on second index which has the value 3 so 5 into 3 will be 15 and here we wanted 9th ugly number as the result started from 0th index that means 8th will be our 9th value now if we see its time complexity we were iterating each value once so time complexity will be order of n and coming to space complexity will be also order of n as we took the help of one more list now let's see how we can make a program for this dynamically so here i have my dynamic program for nf ugly number where i have n as input argument initially i have taken a result list with one appended in it i2 i3 i5 0 initialized then i will take a for loop and will keep on iterating the value so that i can get all the multiples of 2 3 and 5 and then i will have the minimum value out of these three so that it can be appended to the result and thereafter i'll be checking each value if i have took the value from next two i2 will be incremented by one if it is from next three i3 will be incremented by one and if it is from next five i5 will be incremented by one and then the last value the nth ugly number so for ninth ugly number here i got 10 as like this so this is how we can solve the problem by brute force as well as dynamically after that there comes a concept of super ugly number let's discuss this in next video so hope you like this video please give a like to my video and please subscribe to my channel thank you